It's dry and it's windy, and that's uh, two things that uh, firefighters are, of course, concerned about. Mm -hmm. The winds look like they'll calm down, and uh, at the moment, they're still pretty breezy. So if you're going to be out and about or, you know, thinking about burning, and people think, oh, I don't burn anything. But, you know, there are folks that, uh, you know, do have things that they have to uh, do. Maybe maybe even it's a, in some cases you hear about the welder that's trying to fix something, and one spark flies, and all of a sudden it catches fire, and you have a grass fire. It can happen so easy, but it's something that we watch for and certainly uh, try to avoid on days like today. 362. Tower Cam looking out at East Austin. Don't have any smoke showing there. We, of course, double check this just to see if there is. It looks like uh, we don't, and that's good. We don't want any fires out there. 53 degrees, sunshine, winds out of the north at 17 miles per hour, so it's very breezy. Humidity, 23%, very dry. You get the two together, you can certainly get into uh, some serious situations for grass fires. We'll watch for that. 40s this morning from Austin to the east and then out to the west in the upper 30s. Tomorrow morning, even colder. In fact, looking at 20s out in the Hill Country and low 30s here. We have at the moment 40s and 50s area-wide. More 50s east of I-35 and then even to 57 degrees in San Marcos. Still at 47 in Mason and San Saba. Red, by the way, wind advisories had red flag warnings in these counties. That's everybody and that's for the high winds. That'll be through the duration of the day today and then skies will clear. Or skies will clear. The uh, winds will calm with the clear skies and the calm winds tonight and the cold air in place. We have a perfect setup for some very cold temps. We think down to about 32 degrees tomorrow morning and in surrounding areas, maybe even mid-20s. So plan for a pretty cold morning. Now, the forecast model has a cloud cover moving out of here. That's good. That's fine. We certainly love a beautiful day. We could use a little bit of rainfall and we, believe it or not, have a chance for showers coming in about Sunday night, Monday time frame. It's a slight chance as another front comes in. We're hoping that we don't get too cold out of that, but we watch carefully as these fronts this year have been, uh, in some cases, rather extreme. We'll watch to make sure we don't have any mixtures of moisture and freezing temps. Right now, it doesn't look like it. Clouds and radar forecast over the next couple of days. Not much to look at, which is good. It's uh, going to be quiet. 62 degrees for the high today. Winds out of the northwest at 10 to 25 miles per hour. Breezy today, but in through the overnight hours, those winds will go calm or near calm. Out of the north at 5. 32. Freeze tonight. Maybe it only gets to about 33 or so here locally. But surrounding area is always a little cooler. Maybe some upper 20s out there. Maybe even mid-20s, places like at the Austin Bergstrom International Airport, also out in the Hill Country, that's more likely, so we'll watch for that. Seven-day forecast, 60s for the highs, 32. Now, 40 on Thursday, maybe a place or two out in the country, uh, Hill Country that gets to freezing, but not very likely. After that, well, warming up, 70s, in fact, into the weekend. Got a slight chance for showers Sunday, and then maybe a little cooler with a better chance for rain on Monday.